guys, welcome back to Creative Readers Etc. I'm Lexi and this week's video is going to be my summer TBR. It's been a while since I've said that. I have been on a brief hiatus, about two weeks. My channel wasn't growing the way that I wanted it to. It wasn't going the direction I wanted it to. So I decided to take some time off to kind of de-stress, refocus, and come back better than ever. So hopefully my content will be a bit better, a bit more watchable, and we can sort of have a fresh start moving forward. I'm very excited. I've got a lot of great videos planned, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more content. Be sure to like and comment down below. It makes my day. And without further ado, let us hop directly into the video. Alrighty, so as I said in the intro, this week's video is going to be going over my summer TBR. Now, it's not very long, well I say that, a lot of it is entire series, so it's kind of a lot longer than it seems. I'm kind of behind. I haven't been able to really read in a long time. I think I've read one complete book this year, and that book was A Court of Silver Flames. So, um... Yeah, we're struggling. Uh, my TBR is very long and it's not getting any shorter um, as of right now. But now that it's summer, hopefully I'll have a bit more time to read. I know we are planning another readathon, so be on the lookout for that. Hopefully I'll be able to cross off some of the books on my TBR then. Uh, but it's still very, very long and it's going to take me definitely longer than the summer to get through all of it. Uh, so hopefully my college life isn't too hectic so I have at least some time to kind of sit and read. I know my dorm room is going to have a giant window so I'm ready to read there for the aesthetic. So I'm going to be going down the list of my TBR and hopefully at the end of the summer I will have an update video for you on how I did on my TBR because I know for a fact that I'm not going to get all of it finished but this is sort of the outline of what I want to read over the summer and it's not in any order because some of the books haven't come out yet and when they do I'm probably going to put them at the top of my list and I'm kind of in the middle of reading a few of that, well, one of them. So it's not in order at all, but it's the order that I thought of. So we're just gonna go with it. And the first thing on that list is the Shadow and Bone series. Now, as I'm sure many of you know, the Shadow and Bone TV show did just come out on Netflix and I have watched the entire thing, uh, which kind of might have spoiled the plot of Shadow and Bone for me a little bit because I haven't actually read those books. I've only read the Six of Crows series. Oops. But I'm going to read those books now. I am, in fact, in the middle of reading Shadow and Bone, the first book of the series. And so far, it's okay. It's not as good as Six of Crows. I'm not really enthralled by it. And I honestly might put it on the back burner for a while just so I can get through some of the other books that I think I'll be able to read a bit faster. That way I can get more done because otherwise I will just sit and suffer and not finish it. So I might bump that down to the end of my TBR, but that series is on there because I do want to get that read. The next thing that is on my TBR, I have had this on my TBR since, oh lord, spring break? COVID? I don't know, but um, the Lord of the Rings slash The Hobbit series. I know The Hobbit technically comes first, but my dad and I started watching the movies and I really enjoyed them, so I do want to read the books. I do have them on my shelf. They are in gorgeous leather, faux leather bound covers, and I cannot wait to read them. I'm very, very excited. The next thing that is on my TBR is Rule of Wolves, also by Leigh Bardugo. Uh, she's a big name on this list. I say big name, she appears twice, but that's one more time than any of the other authors. So I have read King of Scars. I probably shouldn't have because I haven't read Shadow and Bone, but I have. And I've heard Rule of Wolves contains Kaz. Therefore, I'm going to read it. I have it on my shelf and I can't wait. I'm very excited. I've heard great things about it and I found out today that it's on sale for five dollars at Walmart and I bought it for 20 so I'm a little bit salty. The next thing that is on my TBR is that I want to reread the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Moss. As I said I have read A Court of Silver Flames and it made me sort of just want to reread the series because it's been a minute and my friends are reading it 
So I kind of want to reread it just to sort of refresh my memory into something fun, something that I know I'll enjoy, just to kind of get me back in the swing of reading. So I might pop that closer to the top of my list, just like I said, to kind of get me back into the mood of reading, get me into the swing of things. We'll see though. The next thing on my TBR is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I do have the Chain of Gold series, which I think also has a name that I'm not sure of at the moment that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I've been told not to read it until I read the Mortal Instruments series at least, so we're gonna do that. I have started collecting those books. Very excited to read them. I've been told that I'll likely like them, so I'm kind of hyped for it. Uh, I know it was a big childhood book, kind of like Percy Jackson, but I never read them. Don't know why, but I never did. So it's going to be a first time read for me and I'm very excited actually. So I can't wait to get to those. It's sort of in the middle of my list, but I still am really excited for them. The next book that is on my list is Any Way the Wind Blows by Rainbow Rowell. It comes out on July 6th and I cannot wait. Carry On is a comfort series of mine. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite series. Uh, it's up there on the top of the list. I'm not a huge fan of the writing style, and, but just the plot line of the series itself is enough to make me love it and want more of it. So I have pre-ordered that book and I will be reading it as soon as I obtain it. So it's definitely close to the top of my list. I'm going on a road trip before it comes out, so I'll have plenty of time to read some of the other books first but I will be reading it as soon as I get it, so I am very excited. <laughs> the last thing that is on my summer TBR is Finale, which I thought fitting to put at the end because it's called Finale and I like puns. And that is the last book of the Caraval series, which I have read the first two books of. And I've had it for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to reading it. There's been other things that I want to read more so I do want to get that finished by the end of summer, hopefully, because I do enjoy that series a lot, but it's not high on my priority list of things that I want to read this summer. And with that, that does wrap up my summer TBR. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit shorter, but something kind of fun, a little bit more bookish to kind of get some more of that content going for y'all. And if you did enjoy it, as I said, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It really means a lot. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!